Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another WWE 2K22 My Rise video. And as you guys know, we are having a look at, of course, the male side of the My Rise story featuring my character, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and that is the outlaw, Jason JV, which, you know what, I'm probably going to change the name of my main YouTube channel to that. <clears throat> if not, maybe I'll change the, uh, the second channel to that name, you know what I mean? I just find it fitting. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and see what other stories we can unlock. Uh, let's see what's going on in the social media side of things. Oh, what's this? See, hey, hey, Rock and Steve Austin, pretty sure I could take you, both of you. Guys, guys, really, guys, guys, really not going to take me up on that? From <laughs> Real Dog with the... With the palm face emoji. <laughs> Man, my guy on here cut kind of kind of promo and social media. Come on now, dude. All right, uh, let's talk to Chase the Rib. So yeah, as for those of you who may not know, for those of you who didn't catch uh, the other videos, and if you're not watching uh, other uh, members in the community who are playing this game, uh, yes, Chase is Ribby. So 2K20 is canon. Hey, bud, there's an indie show in town tonight. Want to go check it out? Say, I don't know. Uh, don't want to get in trouble with the coaches. Uh, you know how they can be. Yeah, it, it will be fine. You know, like, nah, it, 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 it'll, it, it'll be fine. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Uh, just gonna, just going to watch. No one will know we're there. Promise. Go to indie show. Don't go to indie show. Uh, I think if we want to complete the story, we kind of have to go. So, go to Indie Show. Okay, guess I'm in. So, Indie Invite. In case y'all are wondering what I'm sipping on, it's uh, cranberry hey, juice. You made it. I'm Baron Blade. Whatever you've heard about me, don't believe it. Unless it was good, then it's totally legit. So, you two ready for the big show tonight? Yeah, can't wait to check out all the matches. I'm sure you'll be able to watch from the back a bit, but I don't allow wrestlers in the audience. Unless it's a lighthouse and we need to beef up the head count, but that's not the case for tonight. Especially after we blew up on social media, saying two future yeah. WWE superstars were competing. I'll be right there. Are you saying we're in a match? Yeah, I sent Chase a message about it. It said, bring a friend to the show, need more matches. Chase, what the heck, man? To be fair, the one other time we met, you talked non-stop about how much you loved collecting matches from restaurants you ate at. So I guess me bringing some from several different local establishments was a complete waste of time. Oh, no, I'll still take those. Thanks. This is exactly what I was afraid of. I didn't want anyone to know we were here, and now we're going to wrestle? Not my problem. And like I said, it's already out there on social media, so you might as well go through with it anyway. You should probably go get changed into your gear, though. I don't have any gear. I thought we were just here to watch the show, remember? Oh, come on, man. You always bring your gear. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Just wrestle in your clothes, I guess. Remind me to never listen to you again. How would I be able to remind you if you're not going to listen to me again? You're the worst. So apparently 2K19 and 2K20 are canon because they brought back Baron Blade. I wonder who else they're bringing back. As if I don't already know. Based, based on what's the status is uh, community creations. I'm just saying. Yeah, that is not my style of clothes that I would wear. What the hell? Why can't 2K let you choose your civilian clothes? I'm just, I'm just, I, I'm torn jeans and skinny jeans. They're, they're, they're not my style. And yes, I do like wearing button-up shirts, but that shirt I would not wear. Let's go ahead, get everybody to the ring. I need to go grab my plate. All right, y'all. Got my plate. I'm good to go. Come on, Chase. 
I'm gonna take my anger out on you since you made me, you know, making me fight in these in these awful street clothes that apparently my dude thinks is fashionable. Yeah, I'm just I'm not, I'm not a fan of skinny jeans. That's not my that's not my thing. No offense to dudes who wear those, but that's not my thing. Torn jeans too. I mean, come on, man. I I, I don't wear torn jeans either. Again, no offense to anyone who wear who wear those kind of jeans. It's just not my thing. I think I think Chase wants a stunner. I think that's what it is. He wants a stunner. Let's give him the let's give him the yeah stunner from the number one stunner. That that, that wasn't the yeah stunner number one stunner. Let's go. What the hell is Chase wearing? Freaking sparkly ass looking motherfucker. Let's go. Hey, get off me. I'm hitting Y. Thank ya. Hit detection needs work. Stinger Splash. No, to the corner, genius. The Shawn Michaels elbow drop. Let's go. Now, I'm going to take him out with the Cobra. Cobra clutch. Let's go. Bruh. What happens when you trick me into wrestling for somebody else? It's just not a good look, Chase. Uh, let's see, BCW Baron. You never know who you'll see at BCW show. Like two future WWE superstars, JV and Chase the Rib. And he had to go and put that on blast. Uh, Mark for life. Glad I made it out. I love being able to, to say that I saw superstars in the indies. Ooh, I have a feeling we're going to be in trouble. What's this? BCW. We got some fire picks of the JV versus Chase uh, BCW match. We'll post soon. Great. Now there's going to be pictures plastered everywhere. Ah, shit. We're in trouble. Well, look who it is. The two hottest stars on the Indies. I guess you saw what happened. I'm certainly not an expert on the old internet, but it's kind of hard not to see it. Footage was plastered all over social media. What'd you think of the match? Four stars? Five, maybe? That's not really important right now. What matters is I wasn't the only one who got wind of your little guest appearance. You know, they do have internet up in Connecticut, right? Here's what I'm thinking. First time offense, your sentence is a crap ton of cardio, and then a match against the Viking Raiders. Sound fair? Hey, hey, as long as we ain't on the outs, that, that, that suits me just fine. No, it doesn't. Yes, that's fair. Yeah. Yes, that's more than fair. And I promise it won't happen again. It better not. Or you two will permanently be on the Indies. Now go do laps around the building until the Viking Raiders get here. When might that be? Oh, about three hours from now. Go. Three hours worth of laps around the building? Damn, that's harsh. That's harsh. I'm going to have to get Chase another ass whooping of a lifetime. Damn it. I hate that whole distance crap where, where they can only reach you and you can't reach them. That shit's annoying as hell. Dress up. And you took forever. So I'm gonna DDT your ass for that one. So I guess I'm in the ring with Ivar. And Eric is the one on the outside. Alright. And me and Chase have sore legs. Ain't that a bitch? Ooh. And I have a SIG too. Let's go. Wait. I still have another finisher? Bruh. 
I'm gonna use up all my finishers. Let's go. All right. Tap, yes, tap, let's go, let's go. So, in the invite complete, I think we got time for another one. That's kind of a quick one. So you have too much potential to be wasting it besides you were wrong about one thing. I wouldn't have done this, the, the same thing 40 years ago. I wouldn't have gotten caught. Hmm. Okay, we're not ready to talk to Corey yet because she wants to send us to WWE. But like I said, I want to make sure we finish all the PC stories first before we do that. So we have Corey Klein, we have Hector, ooh, Robin Ray, oh, and Chase. Yeah, I kind of need to talk to you, bruh. I was watching some older stuff on the network the other day, and it got me thinking how cool it would be to have a hardcore match. But it's pointless since the coaches would never let us do it. Well, what if, and, and hear me out on this, we did it super early in the morning before anyone got here. Mm. I don't know. I wasn't a huge fan of your last idea. How will we even get in the building? I'm boys with Todd, the security guard. He gave me my own key. Ooh. Maybe we should have gotten Todd fired. That guy really is bad at his job. Yes, he is. We come in here bright and early, have our hardcore match. Clean up all the plunder and no one finds out. Trust me, it'll be fine. Um, didn't they already establish that they have cameras in the building? I'm pretty sure we'll get caught. My gut's telling me this could be a disaster, but for some reason, I still want to do it. You got yourself a hardcore match. Early birds get the hardcore match. Let's do it. The Cobra, but we ain't going into early. Alright, let me let him out before I accidentally end it. Oh, the sledgehammer! Get up! Punk! Get your ass up! Get your ass up here! Oh! Random into the rail. I think he wants some wood. So we're going to bring out the wood. He's got wood. Oh, let me set this table. Dress in the ring, Chase. Hey, we have a table finisher? Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Fall away? Hell yeah. Oh. That'd be a perfect way to finish it. Let's go. One, <clears throat> two, three. Uh, guys, what the heck? Busted. Uh, it was like this when we came in. Clean it up now, and then come find me. We're gonna have a little talk. Aw, hell, bruh. See. Should have went with your gut. You knew this was a bad idea. It was all my idea. So whatever punishment you want to hand out should fall on me. That's not true. It was my idea. It was actually a tribute to your reign as hardcore champion in 1998. Don't be a suck up. All right, here's <clears> the deal. <throat> Since you're both taking the blame, you both get the punishment. A WWE tag team just happens to be stopping by later today, and they like to get hardcore too. Didn't you vacate the hardcore title? So technically, you're still champ in my book. That's a good point. Y you know what? That's not important. <laughs> later today, you two are going to face the Usos in a hardcore match. Have fun. Hey, 
Hey, I gotta give Chase points for that one. He kind of uh, distracted Road Dog for a bit. <laughs> you're still a hardcore champion since technically you vacated it. Yeah, you're right. That's a good point. <laughs> ah, shit. Hold on, I want to get some some of this chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's some bomb ass chicken, man. I ain't gonna front. Ah. All right. I think I think we we as ready, little Freddy. If you're wondering where I got that ready little, little Freddy line from, uh, Johnny Bravo. That's where I got it from. Anyway. Brett. <clears throat> oh, come on. I hit him in the gut first. Let's go. Come on. Get off me. Oh, you want to dance right in front of me, huh? 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 Eat canvas. For that, I'm going to stretch you out for that. Because that's grounds for punishment. Let me introduce you to the Cobra. Bruh. That's right. Tap, bitch. If that was punishment, I mean, it was more punishment for them than it was for me. I'm just saying. So we completed 10 out of 14 stories. We only have four stories left to go. And that is the PC showcase, which is going to be the one that's going to um, send us to WWE. We're going to worry about that last. Uh, so excluding that, the only stories we have to worry about are Gossip Hound, Lucha Libre style, uh, Protect Todd at all costs. And that is pretty much it. Those are the three main stories we have left. I'd ask if you're the trainee everyone's talking about, but I know having access to the PC means not engaging in WWE gossip. An exclusive for my podcast is not worth getting kicked out of here, but could be cool for my listeners to hear about a match between a WWE recruit and the indie wrestler who's training here today. That's not breaking any rules, right? So impress Robin Ray in a match against Cole Quinn. So we got another BCW... Uh, character making their presence felt. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, they changed up Quinn's uh, attire. That's an updated look for him. Come on, Black Hole. Remember he, he wanted to call himself Black Hole Co. Oh, just planted him on his Black Hole. <laughs> I know that just sounded all kinds of wrong, but I don't care. It's just jokes. It's fun. It's comedy. So just enjoy the laughs. Yeah, come on, Colt. Eat that knee. Hey, give Buzz my regards. <laughs> Freaking buzz and stunner. <laughs> Whoo! Oh, I was trying to go for a submission. Let's do this. I'm gonna give him the Cobra Clutch. <laughs> yeah, tell Buzz I said hello. Let's see, Gossip Hound story is fini. Oh, excuse me. I haven't checked in with you for a bit. Are you holding up? See, don't act like you you care about me. I'm doing all right. I think I'm doing all right. I mean, I wouldn't be here still if I wasn't, right? True. There's not a lot of patience for mediocrity around here. Reminds me of something my old man used to say. Good enough is only good enough if you're good enough. Hmm. He really had a way with words. I think what he meant was you can coast by if you have the talent, but if not, you better work twice as hard to make up for it. Makes sense, I guess. Does he offer you gems like that all the time? Not anymore. We haven't really talked in a while. 
Yeah, anyway, speaking of working twice as hard, in Mexico, two out of three falls matches are very popular. I was thinking it would be cool if you and I had one here at the PC. What do you think? Oh, so this must be the, the uh, Lucha Libre style story. So, yeah, let's do it. I'd be honored. Let's do it. Lucha Libre style, I figured. Alright, let me get my first fall in by giving him a submission. We're going for the Cobra Clutch. Bruh. Okay, there's one. Spin out power bomb. Let's go. Backdrop. Or the back suplex, excuse me. Get up. Get up, young Sachuan. And shot to the ribs. Fall away. Bam. Like Razor Ramon Chico. Let's go. Another fall away. We're trying to get the SIG up. Let's go. You're a Nagi! Alright, I think we got the SIG. And we setting it up. Let's go. Rock bottom! Dunskis. Dunskis, my broskis. Lucha Libre style. It is complete. Been hearing good stuff about you. Even Todd and security is talking up your training matches. Speaking of Todd, Paragon J. Pierce keeps asking Todd to park his car like he's a valet. I need someone to put Paragon in his place. I'll even ask the coaches to let you take off the training wheels. Ooh, put Paragon Pierce in his place in a no Daku match. Let's do it. Let's do it. I owe that dude another ass whooping of a lifetime. Let's go. Huh? You think you are, man? Disrespecting Todd, huh? Huh? You know that dude does a good enough job taking care of us here. We don't need assholes like you. Arrogant pricks like you disrespecting our security personnel. Oh hell no. Oh hell no. Oh, oh no. No 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 no. I'm not the one picking on Todd. It is you. Therefore you deserve the ass whooping of a lifetime. Okay? You the bitch in this match, not me. Let's go. Punk ass. To eat my fist of fury. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Come here. Eat this knee. And, oh yeah, DDT on the leg. Let's work the legs. Let's work them legs. Let's see, what's my leg submission move? 
Oh, you're gonna make me find out the hard way. That's fine. That's cool. Well, screw you! Okay? Ya bitch! Screw you! Now! Let's work these arms. Okay, because you're going to learn. You're going to learn your damn place in this game. You're going to learn it. You can reverse all you want. You're still going to learn. You're still going to learn. Nope. Oh, hell to the no. No. Screw you. Get your ass over here. Get your ass to that rail. your bitch ass up get your bitch ass in that ring ya bitch ya bitch yeah work and damn legs bitch now you gonna eat this submission oh it's a sharpshooter let's go That's right. That's right. Tap out to your daddy. Now you're going to go and apologize to Todd. <laughs> Protect Todd at all costs complete. That means we done pretty much all the stories, right? Let's check the story progress. Yeah, we are all done, which means we are now ready for the PC showcase. Let me just check my attributes right quick and we'll get right to it. Hey, Todd's not on social media, but he told me that Paragon's Paragon started parking his own car. He's been taking up two spaces, but still, it's an it's an improvement. So, guess he got the message. <laughs> Damn right he did. Put that mofo in his place. See Hector Flores. Uh, we're going to have to make this two out of threes a two out of three falls match some someday what we do a two out of three falls match two two more times best of three of two out of three never mind okay uh women who fight uh nice cole's a solid competitor uh merits at least a few minutes of talk on the pod uh just don't think i'll always be this easy to impress as a wrestling journalist. I expect a lot from WWE superstars. Wow. Okay. Road dog a dog. Uh, just because you two somehow managed to wait, what? Oh, just because you two uh, somehow managed to win doesn't mean I'm not still peeved about what you did. I'm definitely, as a former hardcore champ myself, not even the least bit impressed or proud. Nope. He is. He really is. He's just in in uh, in total denial about it. He just don't want to be be in in, in the doghouse. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh. No, where's that other? Okay, here we go. So hey, been hearing good things about your progress, and I have some potential big news. Last time you said there was big news, it turned out we were getting air fresheners in the locker room. Hope it's bigger than that. Uh, the mountain rain scent was a game changer anyway this is big i heard the gms might be making their way uh, down there soon to evaluate your training class okay you were right that is big yep if you think you're ready i can pull some strings to make it happen or if you think you need more training time i can stall for a bit nah we is ready to go we did all the stories here so we is good to go hey we have some good news not going to have to deal with us much longer. Well, maybe if everything works out. What do you mean? Triple H feels like he's seen enough from you and the rest of the class. So it's time for an official evaluation. Is this the PC showcase you mentioned back on my first day? Exactly. All of the GMs will be here to see you guys in action. If you impress any of them enough, you might receive a contract offer. See, thanks for helping me. It's about time. Nah, we 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 gonna be nice. We gonna be nice because yeah, they 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 don't they don't punished us, you know, for being active in other places and you know and being a little you know a ambitious with a hardcore match. But I mean, hey, you know, it's it's the WWE's place, not our place. So you know, anyway. 
Thanks for helping me get to this point. I won't let you down. You put in the hard work and earned this opportunity. Now it's time to deliver and reap the benefits. I'll be ready. We should also mention that each GM is going to be accompanied by a superstar from their brand to help evaluate you guys. By evaluate, you mean you're going to face one of the visiting superstars. We already know how you do against the other guys here. So we wanted to give you a new challenge. That all sounds good to me. So who will I face? Well, the options are Oni Lorcan from NXT, Shinsuke Nakamura from SmackDown, or the toughest challenge out of the three, Drew McIntyre from Raw. Keep in mind, there's no wrong choice. Being a tougher opponent would be more impressive to the GMs, potentially open more doors. If you lost, risk might not be worth it. So, now that you've had 10 seconds to consider this life-altering decision, <laughs> what's it going to be? Uh, let's see. Oni Lorcan, NXT, Shinsuke represents SmackDown. Drew McIntyre represents Raw. So, it doesn't matter who we face. I guess we'll, we'll still have the choice of the brands we want to choose. So, let's go against Drew. I want to really impress the GMs. Give me Drew McIntyre. All right, we'll make it happen. Good luck, kid. Wait, we almost forgot the best part. There's a little surprise waiting in your locker. Oh, you mean his custom gear we made for him? Well, now that the cat's out of the bag, remember your first day when you designed your wrestling attire? Well, we figured it might help your chances if the GMs could see how you'd really look in WWE. Unless you'd rather stick with your plain old boring training gear. Uh, no. I think I'm gonna go with my custom look. Thanks, guys. Oh boy, this better not be a rib. Just a heads up, I wouldn't get all worked up about this PC showcase since the GMs are really only coming to scout me. That's not what I've heard. Who are you gonna face anyway? Taking on the mascot. I'll dominate him. Show the GMs what they've been missing out on. See, he's taking the easy road. Wait, so you're not even facing one of the visiting superstars? <laughs> Sounds like someone is scared to lose in front of the GM. Yup. It's called being smart and putting myself in the best position to succeed. Maybe you should try it sometime. But good luck getting a contract with whatever half-baked decision you made. Or more like a pussy. Just saying. I am so jacked for this PC showcase. I had a dream last night that I beat Paragon and was signed by Mandy Rose to Raw. But then the dream got crazy. Uh, but we don't need to get into that. Yeah, I don't think I want to know. You beating Paragon and getting signed to Raw wasn't the crazy part. Oh, no way, man. I can do this. I step up my game when the pressure's on. And besides, all I need is one shot. All I need is one mic, one shot. <laughs> Let's go. Well, I admire your confidence. And I hope it works out that way. Maybe we'll end up on the same show. <laughs> That'd be sweet. We could even ride together, live together, work out together, eat together. Yeah, that don't, that don't sound all kinds of awkward and wrong, my guy. I know. We could do a lot of things together. All right, well, good luck in your match. I'm going to go buy a new suit to impress the GMs, specifically Mandy Rose. If our real-life connection is anything like it was in my dream, there's going to be fireworks when we meet. Uh, not yeah, I get it, yeah. Chase. Good luck with all that. And I think we interrupted just in time. My man has it bad for Mandy Rose, and I can't say I blame him, but I mean, bro, you gotta, you gotta slow your damn rolls. You come out, old girl, like that, she gonna think you a creep. Yeah, I'm wrestling in my actual attire that I design. All right, let's see if we can squash Drew. Ah, ya busy. Looks like a job for the Cobra. Reach for the ropes. I dare you. 
squash match on Drew McIntyre. If that ain't impressive enough, I don't know what is. I've heard a lot about you, and you didn't disappoint with your win over Drew McIntyre today. With that being said, I'd like to offer you the opportunity to sign with NXT. Uh, looking forward to dominating NXT. It will be an honor. Need to think it over. This is a big decision, and I need to think it over. That's fine, but you don't have a lot of time. Weigh your options and get back to me. Will do, sir. The fact that you had the courage to not only face an opponent like Drew McIntyre, but then beat him, really proved what kind of competitor you are. That's why I'd like to offer you a SmackDown contract. What took so long, I'm honored to accept. Need more time. This is a big decision, and I need more time to weigh my options. I get that. But let me know before I leave today. Will do. And I appreciate Pierce putting some respect on my name. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. I wasn't planning on making any acquisitions today. But after what you did against Drew McIntyre, I'm impressed. So I want to offer you the best opportunity you're going to get. A chance to sign with Raw. You're lucky to have me. I've always wanted to be on Raw. Facts. Uh, I need time to think. This is a big decision, and I need to think it over. And your belt's still clipping, by the way, Mandy. Don't play games, Don't play games with me. If you want to sign, let me, know. let me know. If not, you're lost. No, it would be your loss. It would be an honor. In my opinion, NXT is the top brand in WWE, and I'm only going to help make it stronger. I'm betting on that. And don't forget to take a moment to celebrate this achievement. You've earned it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Regal. I promise you won't be disappointed with your decision. I hope not, but we'll find out soon enough. And fun fact, I also met William Regal too. Nice guy. I met him twice. One after uh, a, a show, and then uh, there was one time where and, um, he was coming out of a hotel that uh, me and my cousin and a few other heads were waiting because we just happened to know that that was the hotel they were staying at, and we got to meet him there. Of course, my man was in a rush to catch his flight. But, uh, but he, he was still nice enough to sign some graphs and, you know, show some love and everything. So, yeah. Shout out to William Regal, man. He's a nice guy. He really is. You're looking at the Blue Brand's newest superstar. Took longer than it should have. But finally, I'm going to show the WWE Universe what the rest of the world already knows. When it comes to wrestling, I am the Paragon. Big deal. Good for you. I'm going to do the same thing in NXT, but without the lame nickname. <laughs> Facts. Whatever. I'd say I'll be watching on NXT, but I'll be too busy dominating SmackDown. But if you ever make it out of the minors, let me know. Oh, I sure as hell will. Hey, I heard you're going to NXT. Looks like I'll have some company. Hey, he going to NXT too? You sign with NXT too? Yeah, I just spoke with Regan. I think it's a great fit for my style, and I'll be able to compete for the Cruiserweight Championship. True. We should look out for each other there. Hey, I'm down. Say, so I'm going to focus on myself. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Especially considering we might have targets on our backs coming in as the new guys. And, and plus, you know, us Latinos, you know what I'm saying? We be very tribal like that. We very, we be like, 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 uh, like, uh, familiar towards each other. You know what I'm saying? So we got to look out for each other. You know what I mean? Orale, let's go. Look forward to competing with you there. Congrats, man. Oh, thank you. You too. Right on. Appreciate that love. Heard you got signed. Congrats. Thanks. What's the matter with you? What's the matter? You and Hector and Paragon all got signed, but no one wanted me, and now I'm stuck here while you guys are all moving on to bigger and better things. See, did you really think you get signed? Your time will come. Yeah, your time will come. Comparing yourself to us isn't going to help. Your time will come. Trust me. You just need to take a hard look in the mirror and see what you can change to capitalize on the next opportunity that comes along. Yeah, like I see, like that um that um Richard Simmons like outfit that you're wearing, Mister Mister Sparky Pants. Um, I, I I don't think that's a good look for you. I think you could do better. You could do better. I'm just saying. Bruh. That's good advice. But what if it wasn't anything that I did wrong? 
What if someone in WWE doesn't want me to succeed? What if I'm being held down? Ay, 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 with the conspiracy theories. Bro, I think you've been spending too much time on social media. There are no conspiracy theories in play here. All right. But that is exactly what you would say if there was one. Oh, bro, you, you, you gonna do me like that? After all the shit you done put me through, having me wrestle on, on BCW, you know what I'm saying? And share the blame with you. And, uh... And uh, get me in trouble with that hardcore match with you. Chase, keep your head up and continue to work hard. I gotta go clean up my locker. That's not code, is it? Like you're not trying to tell me there's a conspiracy theory against me? That I'm being locked down? Oh my god, really? I'm on to something. Chase? That boy needs help. Congrats on getting signed to NXT. I think you're gonna do big things there. Thanks for saying that. Especially since we haven't always seen eye to eye. It's hard for me to see eye to eye with anyone these days. That's a joke. But nonetheless, this is always a proud day for us. But just remember, don't slip up and embarrass me or the other coaches, okay? Oh, I see what Sean did there because he had that accident a while back on Raw when, um, Jer when Jericho used to do the talk is Jericho segments he had sean on as a guest and uh he threw sean uh face first into the geratron 5000 i think it was called and um it sean i think sean got got like some some shards some shrapnel if you will or some shards from the screen into his eye that is surgically remove his eye and it caused his eye to be uh to be lazy so yeah sean has a lazy eye but that's because of the accident on that jericho segment so basically, don't do anything you would have done when you were starting out in WWE. Exactly. Good luck, kid. I'll be watching. Hey, he called me kid. The heartbreak kid called me kid. So I guess Beth Phoenix is only around for like the women's My Rise story, which I guess makes sense. I mean, being that this is the guys, you only train with the guys. Again, I'm not feeling these civilian clothes. It's not a good look, my guy. PC Showcase is finito. All right, guys. I think this will be a good stopping point uh, for this video. So, yeah, it looks like we're all done with the PC uh, storylines. We are now officially in NXT. Stay tuned for the next video where we kick off all the NXT stories. And then uh, we'll decide which brand uh, between Raw and SmackDown, where we're going to go next. And uh, which brand will will finish, you know what I'm saying, the whole My Rise uh, story. But yeah, y'all, really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, appreciate you guys taking the time out of your lives to watch my videos. Interacting with my videos means the world. Thank you to everybody who, who subscribed. And uh, so, yeah, uh, for those of you who are new here and for those of you who are regulars here, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and, of course, subscribe if you're new here, of course. All that good shit. Don't, don't, don't forget... To check out, of course, all the links in the video, um, in the video description down below. That would be greatly appreciated as well. It is your boy, Jason JVs, and y'all have a blessed one. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace.